the present problem is of uh, gate 2008 and it's of two marks and it's uh, based on uh, uh, amplitude and phase modulation both uh, we'll read out the problem here the signal cos omega ct plus 0.5 cos omega mt sin omega ct is fm only am only both am and fm and neither amr nor fm although this problem seems to be quite simple but it's a bit a tricky problem here uh, what we find here is the waveform is given of the modulated signal and we have to find whether this modulation is what kind only FM, AM or both AM and FM on either of this. So the best thing what one has to do is try to convert this equation into the standard uh, form of uh, modulated signal and then we can compare. So the given signal we can write uh, this equation as ST that given signal ST that is cos omega CT plus 0.5 cos omega MT sin omega CT so it's not in a standard form uh, we know the standard form of the waves here we have just uh, just to uh, get an idea we are writing AM wave X AMT is given by A plus MT cos omega CT cos omega CT represents the carrier part and this is the amplitude part and the amplitude is modulated by the modulating signal so that's why the amplitude is changing with the modulating signal MT so this is the standard form of the amplitude modulated wave angle modulated wave is also sometimes uh, referred as uh, uh, exponential modulation so we are uh, calling it like XEMT exponential modulated wave is A cos omega CT plus phi T so this is the phase part phi T ok now uh, again uh, we can have further division here like uh, in this equation of the phase mo in this equation of the exponential modulation or angle modulation here phi t the phi t here they represent the kp into mt where kp is the phase constant phase sensitivity and mt is the modulating signal this is the value for phi t for the phase modulation and for frequency modulation d phi over dt is given by kf dot mt so this is for frequency modulation ok now uh, we know the standard equations for angle modulation amplitude modulation now we try to convert the given expression to the standard form that is uh, uh, if we notice here in this equation the term here like cos omega ct and sin omega ct this term we can combine to a single term ok we can combine to the single term and then it could be it could be converted to the standard expression for that what we do is is just notice here we presume here in this equation 1 equals to r cos theta t and 0.5 cos omega mt is corresponds to r sin theta and theta is a not a constant angle it's a angle which varies with the time then uh, we can write the expression for st here rt cos omega ct minus theta t and uh, this expression we further write here rt is 1 plus 0.5 cos omega t whole squared cos omega ct minus theta t and the value of theta t is 
tan inverse 0.5 cos omega mt. Okay. So what we observe here in this uh, something very unique is that in this uh, equation here the amplitude part also involves the modulating signal and the phase part here the theta t that is also involving the modulating signal. So this wave is a combination of both amplitude modulation because the amplitude is also varies, varying with the modulating signal and the phase is also varying with the modulating signal. So it is the case of the uh, both AM and the FM. So uh, although this is uh, a simple problem but uh, it's a bit uh, a tricky problem. Okay, thank you.